What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Now, when you go ahead and you block all these awesome ads, well, you're kind of taken away from the developers and the creators of the application, who 99.9% of the time are giving you all this good stuff for free. So it's probably not a good idea. That also includes YouTube. If you block all my ads, I kind of get screwed over. But ads can be pretty annoying. So if you want to sort of control the amount of ads that you get, rather than block all of them, you can, but if you want to block all of them, you can do that as well. Now the way you get ad blocker, which is the name of the city tweak, is you go into Cydia, you add a repo known as a big boss repo. If you don't know the exact spelling of the repo, feel free to go ahead and do a quick Google search like big boss and the repo, it should pop up as the first link. Then of course you go ahead and do your Cydia search, and uh, what do you do? Well you search for ad blocker iOS 8, install it and it should look something along th these lines. The basic gist of the tweak is fairly simple. When it first came out, all there was was an enable button and then you'd be good to go. And inside of certain applications, there wouldn't be any more ads. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. So there are rules. So if you wanna blacklist certain types of ads, you can go ahead and do that. Maybe you have something against French ads. Feel free to go ahead and get rid of those. I'm not sure. Custom lists you can mess around with on your own, along with manual and manual blacklist. So basically these are the applications that you might wanna have ads in. As to why you would do that, I have no clue, but keep it going. So of course there are extras, so if you want to block uh, smart app banners, in case you know what those are, feel free to go ahead and do that as well. And finally there's block YouTube.bads. So block YouTube video ads, you still have to enable it in other apps. So what this does is every time you go ahead and click on a video, the ad will basically go away. So ad blocker will get rid of that ad and you can watch as many videos as you want without being disturbed by annoying ads. There's a few other stuff like iAds and uh, AdMob. Most of these are kind of complex. My sort of advice to you guys is to go ahead and uh, keep that disabled and uh, enable this and enable this. And basically you guys should be much better off. That's basically it for ad blocker. It's probably the simplest tweak ever and yet you guys will love it the second you start using it. Thank you for watching. This is going to be me locking off. Thank <laughs> you.